Hello everyone, my name is Bertha and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a create a sim video for you guys where I am making my characters for the Island Living Let's Play that I am starting soon enough. And uh, our first sim is Kaimana. She is a beautiful sim. At the moment you'll see me choosing so many skin details, it's like it's not normal anymore. But I had this vision in my head of how I wanted her to look. And if you don't know me, I am such a perfectionist. It had to be exactly how I wanted it to be, so this took a long time. But I managed it after all, so that's awesome. I think she turned out beautiful. Anyhow, Kaimana. She is a local from Sulani and she has lived with her parents and her two sisters for a long time, but she has recently moved out into her own little house. And let's just talk about her character for a bit. The traits you see right now are not the traits that um, I gave her eventually because when you want to save your sims in between you have to give them traits and a name and stuff and it's annoying. But um, she is an active sim. She's very sporty. She is a dive instructor. She loves everything about the ocean. Uh, she also has the trait a child of the ocean so that makes sense. If you ask me, that makes sense. So she's an active sim, she's a child of the ocean, and she is a music lover. Uh, how sh She's a music lover because she loves to dance the hula, the Hawaiian hula. Uh, it's something I personally would love to learn someday. I don't know how and when because I don't know a dance school where I could learn the hula, but who knows, maybe someday I, I will. I would love to learn that. But yeah, she uh, she dances the hula, she loves dancing and music. Um, unfortunately, there isn't a hula dancing skill or activity in The Sims. But it doesn't matter that much because there's so much else you can do, I believe. Anyhow, her aspiration is the child of the island? No, not the child of the island. The island uh, the aspiration that comes with this pack is the island something aspiration. And yeah, I chose for her outfits, I chose a purple, blue, pinkish color scheme because I think it just suits her so very well. The create a sim items that come with this pack are absolutely great. I love the hair, like especially the big hair that I gave her, it's so beautiful and the dresses and other outfits and stuff that come with this pack are are absolutely great. They are so great and I love them all. So that makes me very very happy since I love creating sims. So I yeah, I love the world as well. I haven't played much with this pack but I love the world. As you probably know it's based on Polynesian culture and ever since I saw Moana, I have been looking into Polynesian culture a bit more, like looking into dance, uh, music, their language and all that stuff. And it's so interesting. I, I really love languages and I have found out about this island Tokelau, which is one of the smaller islands where only a few people live and it's not very easy to reach, but I do really want to someday. But they speak a language called Tokelau and it fascinates me. I would really like to learn that language but um, I, I don't know if I can find the right resources to you know, ever start learning that language but it would be great if I could. Anyhow, there, there, there's also the mermaid thing in this pack. I haven't played with them yet so this is just my you know, opinion that I base on other people's let's play. But yeah, mermaids. I'm not a big fan of mermaids or other occult sims for that matter. Um, the Sims 3 expansion pack with all the occult stuff, I don't know the name, but that one I absolutely disliked it. <laughs> the zombies drove me absolutely crazy. I didn't like werewolves or vampires, I never played with them, nor did I ever play with fairies or witches or stuff like that. It just it just isn't my thing. And so when I heard about mermaids, it was like, mm, I don't know what I'm going to think of this. 
but as I said, I haven't played with them yet, so maybe it is more fun than I am expecting it to be. It did look interesting from the videos that I did see from other people, so I just hope it's better than I I expect it to be, so that, that would be great. I don't know if, it w if I will incorporate it in the let's play that I'm doing with these characters, but maybe, who knows? Let me know if you want me to, that would be very helpful. Um, yeah, you see me giving her a dive in a dive diving suit, is that what you call it? Because she's a dive instructor. Um, she loves her job. She loves diving, she loves the ocean, she loves fish, she loves everything. And she's just a very sweet and beautiful girl. And I love her hot weather outfit. I love all her outfits actually. She's just stunning and the cast items are great. Anyhow, I think we will move on soon enough to the second sim that I have made for this let's play. Uh, oh yeah, I gave her not... I did give her um, a cold weather outfit, but it's just like a jumper, is that what you call it? It's not too warm for her because we're probably never gonna see it. When this sim is finished, I will show some beautiful pictures that I took of her. And um, then we will move on to the second sim that I have made. So his name is Jake and he is not from Solani as you can probably see. Um, he is from Oasis Springs where he lived with his parents. He has visited Solani a few years ago and absolutely fell in love with the island. And he met Kaimana there as well and they became like best friends. Best friends forever. Um, so yeah, he has been, ever since then he has been saving up to go back to Solani and after a few years he has finally got enough. So he traveled back to Solani and he is now living with Kaimana for a while. But while he, is, he was there, he found out that, you know, his, his dream of being a conservationist, this, this place is perfect for that. So he, it seems like he's just never gonna leave the island and he hopes he can move in with Kaimana, like for real. But I don't know what Kaimana thinks of that. But we will find out soon enough in the Let's Play. I gave Jake the outdoor enthusiast trait because I think it suits his personality the most, but maybe not the gameplay, so I might change it later. He is a dog lover because he absolutely wants a dog. He loves dogs, but he hasn't got one yet. He loves the outdoors and he's outgoing. He's like the sweetest sweetheart you will ever meet. And yeah, he's just, he's, he's a good guy, you know what I mean? I did give him some like simple outfits. He's not the I didn't give him like the very typical island living stuff because he's not from there. It didn't suit him very well as a person. So I gave him other kinds of um, outfits. But yeah, he. Uh, th this is about it. Um, we're approaching the end of the video. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments what you think of these sims and if you want them on the gallery, please let me know as well because if you guys are interested, I might upload them onto the gallery. And please uh, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of my videos and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!